Hey guys, we've given away a horde of plants recently and we are starting to give uh, the fire and fancy tray away too as well. So as we collect two of each of these for our yard, I thought I would get a quick update because a lot of them have been going out to a community church that uh, gives food to people on Wednesdays that are low income. So we've been giving plants to those guys and they seem to really enjoy them. Um, on the fire and fancy though, which is 12 different varieties, we have made six packs of each variety a little while back. And we have this system where we let them get daylight, we keep rotating them, we check them for water, they're all in these cup things. Out of them so far there is the yellow scotch bonnet, the plug that was on it, one of them was not working so we didn't get it. And then also the prairie fire and the where is it at brazilian starfish the brazilian starfish was given away a couple days ago one of those to a friend of ours for his birthday and this was given in to another guy that we barely met just know a little bit but he's really interested in plants so we still have nine varieties and six packs and f another three varieties and five packs here is the yellow scorpion and two of each of these cups will go into plants that will probably end up in our yard. Here is the red devil heart. Here is the yellow scotch bonnet. That one's the Brazilian starfish. This one's the prairie fire. This one's the explosive ember. This is going to be a really, really small plant. But it has a really uh, cool looking stalks on it. I don't know how good of a sight I can get on a lot of this, but. Down here we have the no heat sangria. So those look like they might be a little bit bigger than I thought they would at first. We have the white ghost pepper. These are really cool. I doubt it shows up on camera but the leaves look like they have dying back on them and uh, it's actually a color variation that's on the ghost peppers like this so those are gonna be white ghost peppers hopefully this is the black pearl it has some really really interesting leaf patterns too on it and here we have the phileas blue really cool coloring too on this this is a pepper I believe that's supposed to lose its heat as it ripens one of the rarest um, kind of traits in a pepper these ones right here don't have the label up top that's on the side but I know what these ones are these are the Thai dragon hot you can tell those Thai peppers always sprint straight to the top on us so we'll be cutting those back and then this one right here is of course the Oda. This is the one that will probably go into our yard because both plants in this one are uh, the strange leaf pattern and it also shows up on a couple of the others that are in here too but it is a genetic mutation in it so this has a weird divided leaf pattern in some of these plants and we will be trying to pull those to seed but 12 different varieties Next time we go down to that uh, church food place, we will probably be sending another four or five varieties of these with us, and then the next time another four or five. Some of these will be going north with us to friends and family. Some of these will be going south to friends and family. Some of those will end up in our yard, but we have a system where we rotate them. We check them for water. We fill in extra soil if we need. Um, at nighttime, we've uh, taken this really cheap grow light that's right here and it's like $12 at Walmart I think $13 maybe and we just put it onto the back of a board we can flip it over get this real quick
So as they get rotated through, they also have the bin still. The light is right underneath there. We thought of another way where you could take the light and also have boards on each side and then it could be strapped to those boards and you could just roll the board uh, down the lengths of whatever twine or chain you used and be able to shorten it up and lengthen it too. But this one's a little bit long for our medium sized buckets, but there you guys go. The fire and fancy tray uh, update. We're going to be getting rid of these soon, hopefully. We've probably given out over 100 plants so far this year. Thanks, you guys. Love ya. The purple's getting extra leaves now. Some of, I think the pink brandy one is too. Yeah, there's the herb box. And we just did a video on that, so. Here is the Shikantaza tomato tray. So some of these will end up in our yard. We had a low germination rate on a couple areas because we had accidentally left water in the reservoir and it basically flooded them out. When we moved it, it had washed everything to one side and then back and displaced a lot of seeds. So we had to replant probably 20 of these seeds. But those ones you can tell will be the brand, brand new ones coming up. But pink brandy wine. Japanese black trifil, black crim, lucid gem, Cherokee purple, yellow brandy, Rapunzel, black cherry, carbon, Wagner blue green, atomic grape, green zebra, green sausage, Cherokee purple, pineapple, white wonder, Ava purple, and garden peach. So. We have a pretty good amount here already. I'm pretty sure we will be doing backup tomato tray on several of these pretty soon. They'll be kind of behind. The Cherokee Purple always seems to be doing the best for us though as far as the sprouts. All three and both of those with no problem at all. So a lot of good varieties in here and that is the Shikantaza tray and overall that would be our sunroom update and I usually sit right here near the window and wait for the mailman to show up so I can go out and bark at him tell him to bring my seeds but all our seed orders are in too and we'll probably do an update on the vault but anyhow hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching all right, continuing on with the updates, what we're doing now is we are in the nursery. It used to be the quarantine, that's the surviving spider plant. It's really, really taken off. This room's perfect. You can basically draw as much heat as you want in here by this heat lamp. These lights are a little bit warm too. But we bring plants in here for the night as they go outside to harden off a little bit. This is some of the stragglers we're testing out with there's a lot of cold still here we have dips at night that go clear into the 20s still but uh what we have here is an oda and a few purple flash we'll probably have a special bucket just for these stragglers some of the very first chinese five color we just recently topped these again the branches are coming loose on them this is a couple of sh test germination tomatoes that we just haven't let go. We've been putting them through the weather. Some of that. And here's a uh, kiddo's orange and lemon. And so we're trying to get those used a little bit outside too. Those will probably need transplanted if we end up keeping them. We might give those ones away as well. Don't have room for all of them, but we have room for enough for quite a bit if we start rotating this stuff outdoors. This is just a couple clippings from, uh, the hot red cherry pepper that are maybe attempting to root. This is another avocado going. We use uh, the little uh, hoops you use for making uh, colored Christmas eggs. Easter eggs. Easter eggs, that's right. Easter eggs. <laughs> what we have here is uh, the pink polka dot seeds were planted here 
And then we have the mimosa seeds. This is a discounted red vein is what it's called. It's really, really got bizarre coloring on its leaves, but <coughs> But with that plant right there, we noticed we could also split it into several plants right away. Give about four of those away as house plants to people, or we might uh, bush them up and put them into one pot. What we have here is purple dragon carrots. The scarlet nance carrots, the orange carrots, kiddo planted, failed because they are planted in the middle. I think if we're trying to do this again, as far as carrots are concerned, for trying to seed indoors in just one pot that's small enough, as far as collecting the seeds, we would plant them in a hoop, out in a hoop outside the outside of it instead. So, these ones, as they bunch together, it seems that the central part of it is where it starts to fail first. But that's purple dragon carrots. They're still struggling a little bit, but surviving. Um, there's the two long tie that'll go in our yard. There's two Tabasco that'll go in our yard, and there's house plants that we originally had in a little vial of water and then there's some more Chinese five color that are just kind of experimental in this tiny pot they just recently got topped but this stuff is stuff that mostly we are starting to harden off a little bit and experiments that are sticking around a little bit this room right here being a bathroom as somebody takes a shower the humidity level gets really high the plants will start failing or will not start uh, release or evaporate any of the water. They'll stay super damp. So also what we have in here is we'll put this up on the counter. So at nighttime, in the daytime, nighttime everything's in here. In the daytime, half the stuff's in here. Sometimes it gets rotated out and in. It depends on the weather. Just monitoring things in these two rooms and waiting for the warm weather to come and I hope you're excited to take a look at the bathroom. But uh, this is UT and I garden here with my family in southwestern Utah and appreciate you guys watching. Thanks tons. Love ya.